Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone is doing very well. So in this video, what I wanted to do is check out an application that I reviewed maybe about three or four months ago. Something that has actually been cropping up a lot all over the web, uh, mainly because people have been name dropping it and popping it in other channels that have been following and actually having it about. Um, and it's actually keeping my attention, like a lot of good applications uh, I check out out there, I really enjoy when someone finds uh, a good application and recommends it to me. So as you can see here, this is Zenkit. Uh, Zenkit I reviewed quite a while ago, uh, as I was saying, uh, it looked a little different. So since that period of time, they've launched a few things that weren't really available last time I checked in. So they've obviously redesigned it slightly, I mean they've had a sort of a bit of a clean approach to it, new backgrounds and new uh, sort of like visualizations I guess. They also have a new layout uh, which they've fully comp like made now which is mind mapping and they also have templates too. So they've really worked on developing the product uh, for this experience and the reason why I like to come back to an application like this is because what I really rate this application is more of a project manager at the moment mainly because it has the same I would say the same level of t functionality as Trello, but sort of goes a bit deeper on the layouts uh, functionality. So what I want to do in this video is recap Zenkit. Then what I want to do is sort of go over some of the smaller features that they re-released. Uh, I hope this video uh, is useful for you guys because I think it will provide you with a recap and also an overview and also just a general guide to how to use this. So just before we get started, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscription button and also the bell notification because you'll get regular videos as soon as the videos are out, they'll go to your inbox. Actually, I don't think it's that spammy. Um, it'll go to your app and just nudge you that one of my videos is up. You can either pass or watch it, um, but it'd be really great. So feel free to hit the subscription button at the very least and just uh, f use the bell notification if you like. Uh, so let's jump into the Zen Kit review. So as you can see here, I'm inside one of their, I think they're called collections uh, officially. So as you can see, you've got my collections here. I did uh, use that one last time, uh, but you can create, uh, you know, some uh, selections, uh, collections, sorry. And you can also create a new team too. So the thing that they've added, which is new is the background. So as you can see, you can modify the background. Um, so I'm gonna change it to, I think there was something, there was like a city in the background, uh, I think it looks like Mars or something. Yes, so as you can see, they have uh, made a new background available, uh, which makes everything look a little bit more interactive, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can access that when you're just about to go in there, and you can actually upload your own, which is nice. Um, but that's only available plus plan members apparently, uh, but that's a nice addition. That's something that I like inside of Trello, although Trello now limits you only to Unsplash, unless you're a premium. Uh, which I, lo I love on splash images, but as you can see uh, Zenkit have um, Sort of brought this new slightly new design. I like obviously the Kanban layout uh, This is one of the best sort of layouts they have um, This is very functional and very easy to use uh, The the thing that really gets me with Zenkit is the ability to change views and, and the optionality around those views so you can actually modify the item size as well as the item's position and as i mentioned before they've got the ability to see the view via lists kanban table and calendar um calendar view i think is something that i mentioned before you can see stuff through uh calendar layout and also uh you know uh, have that ability to see week month and today view as well as drag on unscheduled things so that's a nice visualization of it but my maps is probably the one that they've uh, made a bit more interactive um, and you can actually modify all of the stuff now. So for example, if I just zoomed out here, um, I'll be able to start dragging stuff in. Uh, maybe I want to have that one here uh, and connect it up with this one and have the build a spaceship over here. And as you can see, you can start bringing that in. So that might rep like completely um, avoid the need to uh, use services like a mind mapping tool because you have it all in one um, but when you go back to this list view nothing really changes which is great so you can manipulate stuff uh, to different positions without damaging the other statuses of it which is quite nice so for example if you wanted to come back and see everything in to do or in progress but you wanted to mind map out some random stuff it won't affect that which is quite nice 
So clicking in here uh, to the uh, more information, you can add more detail. I think I don't think estimation was there last time I was here, but you can actually estimate in hours how long it will take. And also it tracks the hierarchy inside of the mind map here, so that's how it connects up. You've also got a custom fields as well. I think I, some, I mentioned this one last time, but they also have uh, the algorithm and references as well, uh, so visual references too. You can add a checklist too uh, and have percentage times too. So for example, I would like to check the energy levels. I'm not sure. And as you can see, you can add this to do, and, and, and it's very simple. So if I were to tick off one of these, inside of there it would manipulate that and have it 50 percent so it's actually quite easy to use and you've got actions up here to add any custom fields add any checklists you can add dupla you can add two checklists or as many as you like really which makes it a lot easier and you can open this window up as well so if you wanted sort of like a, a, a like a window view you can actually have that or you can have the sort of dual panel layout and you can actually skip through these um, without actually going separately into each, which is very nice. That's actually a nice function to have. As I said, it's really easy to add in the um, elements and you can filter out as well. So for example, if I text that only contains fuel um, and once that happens, it will remove out everything that happens there and it will only give one out of nine. But that's a quite a neat way of doing that. So they've also, as I was mentioning, got templates. Uh, templates is an area where you can actually bring in existing layouts. So for example, you can have so featured templates, for example, a project manager, project planner, a personal calendar, and you can have custom custom ones, so project management, the Eisenhower, Eisenhower matrix and things like that. And personal ones like a bucket list, job application, startup. They've got lo loads of different pre-created ones, which is nice. Um, so for example, if I was looking for a job, um, and I'll go on job applications. You can have the, you can use that template, and I want to apply it to my collections. I just use that one, um, and as you can see, uh, it creates a couple for you. So it creates companies that you've looked at, interview prep, and job offers. So that's quite nice. It adds quite a few there to your collection. So uh, as you can see, I'm going to view this as a Kanban. I think Kanban. Um, so it gives you an idea. So these are small size companies, medium size companies, large and Excel, uh, and it will give you the ability to add all of the information. So if you're someone who has started like, oh, I need to dump all my job offers here. But as you can see, the cool thing about this is they you have the ability to really customize this. Um, so once you've added the job offer, uh, you can connect it with another calendar. Um, another one as well um, so that makes it really easy these are custom fields so all you have to do is job offers and references and actually connect it with the other one job offers and allow creation of new items and allow selection of pairs so you can connect it to other ones which is very nice again you can do that the same with um, another references section you can also add links uh, location if you wanted to so for example uh, if you wanted like for example Luken, Lukeen yeah, you can actually select a new area. So if I wanted to remove that and have it as like London, UK, then I can have that there. So if I go out of that, London will appear. So that's a label. That's just a simple label. But these sort of layouts, uh, just going back here uh, and let's go on job offers. So these are the job offers you're getting. Uh, you can go back in and actually see. So for example, you've, you've got a table view. Uh, that's quite a nice view. And you have the ability to see, uh, oh, okay, I'm going to add, um, so just below that, I'm going to add a new offer. So that's a head of development meant here. And you can add the stage that you interview scheduled. And you can see this quite visually, uh, which is quite nice. So that's a nice addition to it. You can also modify the text, giving it all of the formatting options that you have. So as you can see, they've made a really nice uh, experience in the templates area, really custom made. So even if you wanted for yourself to do a project planner, um, I hope I've got enough space to do this. Uh, if you want to do, run your own project planner, um, for example, uh, you can see that you've got projects and tasks that appear. So you can use this as both a project manager and task manager, which is quite nice. So for example, I'm just going to click in projects and show you this one. Um, as you can see in projects, uh, all of these come up. And as you can see, you can add those full bleed images. So these are really good examples of the, the use that you have inside of um, 
the likes of Zenkit, which is pretty cool. So for example, if I clicked in one of them, I clicked on the image there. Uh, you can see that uh, you can add labels, uh, project description, and actual dates as well. So that's all custom fields. Uh, so you can be really creative with this and all of the tasks that they correlate to inside of the other list. We've also got project lead as well. So you can actually make a specific entry on the person who you want to contact uh, in creating tutorial videos and also um, add any extra custom fields. So you can add as much as you like. Um, so it's, this is a really perfect example of how you can optimize your use of the Zenkit experience. So I think that was everything inside of Zenkit experience that have uh, adapted uh, since I last checked it out. What I'll probably do is another review in like three or four months to see how they're getting on. Again, I would say it's like um, a really customizable Trello. Um, it's, it's much more, uh, Manipulate, you can manipulate a lot more elements of it than you can in Trello. I would say Trello is more for someone who's trying to kick out as a beginner. And if you want to go hardcore, I guess this might be the application for you. So it's definitely worth it checking out Zenkit if you haven't already. I'll include everything in the description below. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed yet to regular videos, we put out videos like this about project managers, task managers, like note takers, Evernote, you know, all of those sorts of stuff that you love and know already. I already covered that. So if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you enjoy the others. So feel free to hit the subscription button. Make sure to uh, follow along in the comments. Uh, add if you use Zenkit or you what you think of Zenkit so far. It'd be great to hear your opinions. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.